And this is the true challenge we have in front of us for the next two years. What you see here is it's just a cell. Our pack has roughly 250 cells. The one solution of the supplier of the one cell is actually having a little bit more cells. The other solution has a little less cells. But basically, we are now taking those cells and arrange them in blocks and modules into their packs. The packs is a liquid cool pack. And the first pack has arrived uh, already October 31st last year. So we are receiving packs and we are creating insight on those packs. What you see in the middle here is Lance Turner, one of our engineers. He is responsible to generate cycler time. So he has those packs sitting in the lab and he is running tests with those packs and with the cells to really generate learning as quickly as we can to see how the individual cells behave in this large battery pack. The whole industry has nothing that is comparable to the pack that we are introducing into the mall. The 16 kilowatt hours of lithium ion energy, there is nothing in the industry that has that size and that technology. And by the way, also by the time we are on the market, we will not see that there is anything like this on the market. So it is important for me that you see we have those packs. And what we do currently is we are preparing those packs for vehicle applications. And it's very critical that cycling batteries is important, but seeing how those battery packs behave in vehicles is the next real key step. So we are preparing, if we go to the next slide, what we are doing, we are preparing the vehicles, we have vehicles ready to run and to receive those battery packs. Within the next weeks, we will actually assemble those packs into vehicles, what you see here is so-called new vehicles, vehicles that are there to demonstrate capabilities, technical capabilities. And this is the, what you see is the, on the left hand side, the underfloor configuration and the plaque piece is the battery pack that goes into that underfloor. Then you see one of our engineers working in the engine compartment. What we are already doing at this point in time and we are simulating battery packs, we are working on regenerated brakes, we are working on chassis, we are working on the basic calibrations, we are doing software work already at this point in time. So what this is showing here is within the next minutes we will have the production in 10 packs going into those cars for testing. This is a very, very important step for this program here to generate all the insights. Last chart um, that I want to show you in some of the pictures is propulsion technology is important and is key to the success of this program. There is no doubt that we can achieve the 40 mile electric range and will satisfy that side. But what we have learned throughout the Detroit Motor Show is it needs a propulsion technology, but it needs also a highly attractive vehicle this technology goes into. So while we are doing now all the, what we call the critical cast development of batteries and propulsion technologies and electrification of the car, we are at the same time working the styling of the vehicle. You see some of the work that's been going on into the great studio here. Persons, people that are doing the interior work. Um, what you see in the center picture is relatively small. The seating back configurations to show us what is the comfort that we achieve in this car, the roominess. You see in the very far rear, you see the full-size clay model standing there. And what we are doing within the next days almost is we are signing off the final production design of the whole program. And this is all happening in parallel. I hope that this is, is giving you an indication that this program is not a research program. We have many hundreds of engineers and other people in our organization engaged in this program. It is the highest priority project that General Motors currently has. It is at the top of our list. And we have a very, very significant involvement of our senior leadership in this program because they have not just delegated this task to the program team, to me and my colleagues, to make this happen. They want to be part of this learning experience. And therefore, I think it's a pleasure for us to be here today with you and to learn now from you, or you see that, and therefore, I might ask you to come back on stage, because now is the time for you to ask questions, and John and you too, everybody will be here to give you any. Thank you. Thank you.